Heron Wilson was a happy college student working hard on her degree at SUNY Albany in the spring of 1985. In March of that year, she was counting down the days until she could go to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And of course, for spring break. As the big departure day came, she hurriedly prepped for the trip. March 27, she went shopping for spring break clothes and had an appointment at a local tanning salon. But that night, she disappeared. She was supposed to return to her dorm room and prepare to leave the next day. But something awful, awful happened. Cops were so stumped at first that they wondered whether she hadn't actually gone to Fort, Fort Lauderdale already. Florida detectives got involved in trying to figure out if she'd actually gone missing once she was already in the Sunshine State. Investigators even tried to trace her possible road trip route to see if something happened to her on the way down, but nothing seemed to have come up. Finally, a lead came. An eyewitness reported seeing a woman matching Wilson's description walking onto the SUNY Albany campus at about 8.15 p.m. on that night of March 27th. Cops realized she was abducted from her dorm room or perhaps while she was just about to begin her road trip. Belongings that she had wanted to take to Florida were also missing. Police started to speculate that she met with foul play somewhere in Albany right before she was about to leave. And yet, still no reliable tips came in. Weeks later, an anonymous tip named a person of interest who may have been involved. Police tracked him down but determined he wasn't in the area at the time of Wilson's disappearance. Rumors even circulated ever since about a supposed suspicious man on the Albany campus. Sadly, his identity was never revealed. Wilson had never turned up in this 40 years since that fateful night. Her family continues to hope for answers, but with every passing year, that becomes more and more or less likely.